main challenges with infection prevention and control for the 21st century. I think if we're looking at it from a horizon point of view, there's obviously gram-negative resistant organisms. Uh, we're seeing the exponential growth in things like CROs or CPEs or C CREs, obviously they come with various acronyms. Um, the other thing on the horizon is obviously antimicrobial resistance. We're seeing great problems um, facing many, many hospitals in trying to reduce uh, better compliance with stewardship. The important thing to remember within the IPS is that we have infection control nurses and practitioners across the whole healthcare economy. We don't just cover acute hospitals, we work in community settings, mental health settings, the ambulance service, um, and we cover the whole patient's journey, so patient quality counts. Being a member of the IPS has always been um, a huge leap for me from a professional development point of view. It's been a resource that I can tap into quite regularly and, and readily. It opens up doors and the amount of network that's out there is, is exponential. I can honestly say that I learn something new every single day mm. about the subject or the speciality and that has kept me fresh and motivated for a long period of time. I would love working in infection prevention and control because within my area of um, work I always have to think outside the box. The patient contact and putting patients at ease over the, the infection that they have and, and just helping them out on a daily basis really. It broadens my horizons, it improves my career prospects, um, it also provides the opportunity to attend conference. I think the society is very important for two reasons. One, I think it has at the heart um, a focus on patient experience, patient outcome, and ensuring that everything that happens to patients when they're poorly um, means that they're not harmed by what we do to them. Um, I think another thing that's really important is the way in which we support practitioners within the specialty to maintain their competence challenge practice, behave as if they are um, very, very strong professionals uh, with a passion for what they do. I think what's special about being a member of um, a regional branch, particularly within England, is the fact that it's like one extended family. Um, you can pick the phone up and ask any of our colleagues and members of the IPS if you've got a question or if you've got a query about some sort of practice and I can guarantee you'll always get an answer about being patient-centred. It's there supporting the staff equally, but it's following the patient through, it's the patient's journey, it's the understanding, um, it's the empathy. It's almost the emotional intelligence of understanding what that patient's gone through and giving the patient a voice when often they don't have one. <laughs>